guys, Dr. Jones again. We're going to talk about intelligent transportation. Now, intelligent transportation, what does that mean? You know, does a car drive by itself? No, with RFID, what intelligent transportation is talking about is we have transportation systems such as barges, such as railroads, and also trucking. And how does the technology capture information going, so if you have product in a, in a barge that goes to a, a railroad and, and information on the railroad, so you have produce and railroad going to a trucking, how does that work? Uh, currently, the uh, environment is using uh, active tag systems, which actually capture the information, but there's a big push to, to minimize the cost of those tags. Time is money especially when you're shipping perishable material over long distances. RFID technology cuts the cost with real-time tracking of cargo throughout the supply chain. In a supply chain, what happens is you, you can tag boxes or even containers so you can track your products. So when you can track the products as they move uh, within the supply chain, all the levels they can have, they can share information. So doesn't doesn't have okay doesn't happen that I don't the supplier doesn't know what's the demand of the manufacturer so if they have the real time information they can send only the only the amount of product they need so they can keep your the inventory levels low even lower and then so they can have a, a lower cost of inventory and then the products can walk across the supply chain across the the flow more quickly Students at the RFID lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln calculate the effects of RFID technology on the supply chain. So we try to predict where is going to be the impact of RFID. We do not really have, not necessarily have to test the RFID technology. We can try to predict, okay, we, we expect for, from the data we have, the inventories are going to be lower 20%. Uh, so we try to predict the impact on inventory costs, on supply chain, uh, in transit time, uh, the lead times, uh, decreasing time, so we can try with this information, the times, we can model this on the computer and we can try to find the best, the best optimized uh, solution of scenario for the RFID and for the company. This information can be used by manufacturers to determine the best locations for factories and distribution centers, saving even more money down the road. <laughs>